when you buy a US Treasury security, you're essentially giving a loan to the US federal government. And just as an example here, I have a US Treasury security in which it says that the owner of this, this piece of paper will be paid $1,000 in one year. So if you buy this from the Treasury, maybe you're buying it from someone else, but let's just say that the government is issuing them right now. Let's say you buy it for let's say you buy it for $950 and the government will give you will give you this security right over here. Now fast forward, fast forward 1 year. Fast forward 1 year, you're holding this security and what happens? So, you know, all that stuff is written there. What happens a year later? Well, written on this security and I've simplified it just for this example. It says the old, the, the holder of the security will get $1000. So, at this point, the US government has to give you has to give you $1000 has to give you $1000 so when you look at just the money flows it's pretty clear that you just lent the money you gave them $950 now and then a year later they give you $1000 and if you wanted to put this in terms that you normally associate with borrowing money in terms of how much interest did you get well, you, you lent $950 and you got back 1000 So let's think about it this way. Let's get a calculator out. So 1000 divided by 950, 1000 divided by 950 is equal to 1.05, just to round it, 1.053. So you got 1.053 or 105.3% of your money back. So let me put it this way. So this is. This is 105.3% of money lent, of money given, of money given to the government. Or another way to think about it is you got a 5.3% interest, or you, you, you lent your money out at an annual interest of 5.3%. You got your money back, plus you got 5.3% after one year. So you could imagine, if all of a sudden many people want to buy this, this government security, and now the price goes up, instead of being $950, let's imagine that it is now $980, what is the implicit yield that the person would now get on it? Well, we get the calculator back out here. So if you pay, so you're going to get $1,000, and if you paid in 980 instead of 950, then a year later when you get the $1,000 back, that'll only be 102% of your money. So in that situation, it would be 102% of your money. So in the $950 price, you're essentially lending the money the government money at 5.3% and at $980 you're lending the government money at 2%. And I'm doing this to show you a point. When the price of the treasury security goes up, as happened in this case, the yield, the interest that you're getting on your loan goes down because in either situation you're going to just get $1000 back. If you lend 980 and get $1000 back, you're only getting 2% on your money. If you lend 950 and get $1000 back, you get 5.3%. And so this is what people are talking about when they say if treasury prices go up, if treasury prices go up, then the yield goes down. So if there's more demand for treasuries, the interest rate on treasuries will go down. In the next video, we'll talk about how this might change for treasuries of different maturity dates.